Okay, so here we are in 19.6. It's the last section of chapter 19. And in chapter, or in 19.6, we're talking about intangible assets and calculating amortization expense. Okay, so what is an intangible asset? Those are things that businesses tend to purchase that you can't physically touch. It's like a patent if we are um, creating something, building something, or developing something. It's copyrights, trademarks, all those types of things. Those cost money to have. As you all know, um, the NCAA or any college has their own logo that's kind of copyrighted for that school. Um, many years ago, maybe you guys know this story or not, Crystal Lake South High School got in trouble for using a copyrighted logo for, um, I think it was the University of Florida, you know, the gator that um, the University of Florida has. They said Crystal Lake South stole that logo or their figure, and they made them remove that alligator from everything in the school, from the gym floor, posters, all the t-shirts and things that they had created, they had to stop using it. Now they gave them a couple years to do it because to replace a gym floor is really very expensive. But anyway, University of Florida paid for that and they didn't want anybody to use it unless they paid them. So Crystal Lake South came up with a new logo for themselves. It's kind of that, that gator head that you see with the little eyes peeking out. I actually like the new one better than I liked the old one. My daughters went to South and they were under the old gator rather than the new gator. So anyway, that's what an intangible asset is. Intangible assets are only good for a certain amount of time. So we don't depreciate an intangible asset. We amortize or bring down the value of an intangible asset. It's essentially the same thing. It's just called something different.